Alright, so I'm showing you the best way to play Senna in preseason and maybe in season 13, depending on whether things could change or not. But the big drawback of this build, be warned, you are super squishy, so you need to position uh, well, you need to play around your uh, effective, your attack range well, you need to make use of that, else you're gonna deal no damage. But if you do that correctly, Eclipse, Quick Blades, Do Lord Dominic's Regards, perfect item combo, you have so much power with the early lethality and second item Quick Blades goes fully live with your passive, it's absolutely incredible. And you cut down tanks with cut down and with Lord Doms, so no problem, no problem, just don't get assassinated. Let's see if we can cheese them. Might be able to. Caitlyn actually with cleanse, that's interesting. And Ash support. Alright. Kind of took a little bit too much damage. Come on, Jin. Ah, He didn't make it. Alright, that was terrible. I thought we could cheese them, but they cheesed us. And now Jin dies too for some reason. Wow. Wow, <laughs> what a terrible start. Ah. Okay, yeah, maybe. I mean, they're not an all-in lane too. But I'm definitely not an all-in champion. I need time to scale and... Jin started boots, so he doesn't have the combat power. Yeah, that was as bad as it could get. <laughs> it's fine, though. We'll bounce back. I'll let these minions die because I want increased chance for souls. Caster minions not worth it. They don't have summoners, keep that in mind. Wow, Jin. Wow. <laughs> Just wait another tower shot, man. Couldn't auto that in time. Maybe minions kill her? Doesn't look like it. That's so frustrating. Yeah, okay, we're playing very greedily though, gotta admit. Couldn't get my auto off in time, one more auto, Caitlyn would have died. <coughs> A W right as she eat backwards, so my W missed. W damage also would have been enough. Okay, let's hope he doesn't mess up his farm again. Well, it looks like he kind of does. <laughs> Alright. 6 CS. It's better than nothing. He has a long sword now. That should help him. But yeah, they will return with so many items. They have all the CS and uh, kills. <laughs> oh well, playing this game on hard mode now. Oh. Didn't quite make it. <coughs> now we just need to scale. <coughs> I have scale all of their team. Just need to be careful with Zed, but that's it. Hmm. But yeah, we gotta respect their item advantage. Which is why I ward this bush, because they will push all the time. Nice, good damage combo. Hmm. 
Yeah, Ash can't heal back up. I can, so these trades definitely favor- Oh, Jin, what are you doing? Technically still alive, huh? Let's see. King got him. Yeah, we just got four-man dived. <laughs> Not the best look. But maybe the team can clean up. Like, don't get an assist anymore, though. But yeah, now I'm actually strong. I got Serrated Duck and I got Vamp Scepter. So I can trade for days. Oh, Kane dies to minions. Or to Ash. It makes no difference, really. <laughs> Come on, get her. Jin, W. Oh, need a hit, man. He has boots, so he should be able to do this. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's not dead. Alright. But he kind of has to recall, and I sit here 1v3, potentially. Don't have... What was that? <laughs> Don't have warrants, either. I just need to hope the wave bounces back to me, cleanly. Which it kind of doesn't, or it will take a, a long while. I'm not touching these minions. Even if I last hit at the last second, it will delay the push a little bit. And if I break this slow push towards us, we're in trouble. Okay. Another fast pushing. I better ward this again. Yeah, should be fine. Man, what a <laughs> what a roller coaster of a lane phase. Oh, Jin, what are you doing? Don't. Don't you dare. I ulted for pressure there, because else they get too much damage on me and I get nothing in return. Nice. Clean hit on Caitlyn. That's worth quite a bit. And I have lifesteal, so... I'm not worried. Okay, that was kind of good. Caitlyn double buffs though. Jin doesn't have mana. Huh. He's basing. Like a coward. Ash misses ulti. It's quite nice. Lilia's here. We gotta keep that in mind. Bro, you really wanna... Give her everything for free? I don't think so. Okay, that worked. <laughs> my oh my. I should just base for my um, mythic. I'll take this soul though. Or this this cannon. In terms of gold, it's also nice. Okay, so upgrading boots would have been fine too. But I value early mythic quite highly. <coughs> On Senna at least. 
Eclipse is such a nice power spike, so good for trading and dueling. And the more you can trade, the more souls you get from um, the double hit on champions. 30 CS difference between the AD carries. One full level. Alright, still full health. Kinda messed up though. <sighs> Should've killed her on the spots. Not risk Jin dying there. That's a shame. He's too weak. But I wanted him to get the kill, so it's it's always this. I don't know. It's a tough situation. We need to make a split-second decision whether it's worth to risk him dying. Or actually cancel my base. This is too much farm. Okay. Jin should have the rest. Yeah, let's get Longsword. Crit Cloak would have been fine-ish too, but if I can choose on which components I want to sit in the future, I want to sit on Warhammer plus Pickaxe. Sounds way better. Yeah, we're already at 20% crit, by the time we finish Quick Blades we should be at 60. And even if we're not, I mean, we're, we're not getting the Transcendence, but we're getting the damage amplification nonetheless, because that's not gate-kept by a crit percentage. Huh. Sure. Jin is such a massive item disadvantage. Wow. Walked into a hidden trap. But I mean, I die anyway with Lilia there. I was too far overextended. So it's not the biggest difference, but still <laughs> feels kind of bad. The AD carry difference is m still too massive. We can't contest Dragon. I have ulti when I respawn. Is it enough, though? Come on. Take this fight. Do it. I mean, probably not. The tower's gone anyway. Man, uh, that was <laughs> that was the misclick of the century. I hope no one saw that. I mean, my team should know that this was an accident. Main thing is the enemy doesn't shouldn't know that I don't have flash. That's uh, that's important. If they know, they can abuse. I still need to play very carefully the next five minutes. Mm. 
I'm gonna let the caster minions die for the more or for the increased soul chance. This is super risky. Alright, let's play it safe. Jin looks pretty dead. Alright, Javan, maybe. Don't want to chase into Fog of War. Also don't want to fight this hyper-fed Caitlyn. <laughs> Let's help Jin push. He has Gale Force now at least. And I'm actually alive. Lovely. Yeah, we get components here, and a control ward. Your team has destroyed a turret. Now we try to move towards the team to collect more souls in fights. <laughs> this game is constant fighting, non-stop. 36 kills in 18 minutes. Might be good. Perfect. Yeah, good engage. Very well played. Sword over here. Just gotta be careful. Should we get bot lane tower off of this? I mean, we actually just need to play around Garen. He's our fed teammate. Step into the traps. It's important. Actually, hit him. Come on, Jin. Got her. <laughs> Sniped. Yeah, 
Yeah, we get Dragon here. Nice. Alright, alright. We're in the driver's seat now. We're actually getting stuff done. 40% crit chance from passive. Make that 60 as soon as we finish that item. Yeah, we're strong now. We're so strong. It's a tight game nonetheless. And yeah, the important parts about any third item in a support build where you want to get wardstone and stuff so you're just um, slot locked. It needs to have a good first stage component and Last Whisper of course meets that criterion. <clears throat> but yeah, now we have this. Our abilities deal even more damage. And we get a refund whenever we auto, so it's just a perfect Senna item. It's more powerful the more crits you get, and we get crit with our passive. It's absolutely crazy. One for one so far. Zed is nowhere to be found. He's bot lane. Get her. No one wants to protect me. They just fodder me to Caitlyn ult. Sure. Ah, unlucky. Meanwhile, we lose inhibitor. Tragedy. Oh, he actually hits. <laughs> alright, alright, not too bad. Okay, we don't lose inhibitor, hopefully. Bro. You have to do something. You can't just sit there. Okay, okay, he just gives a tower. Now you can't fight him. Sure, good job. He didn't... He, I, I mean, he can exit his body at any point. I cast ult, he doesn't react to the animation, he stays inside him. So he dodges my shield, sure. Man. That was tragic. I mean, it's his fault, but <laughs> still feels very bad. We can't all stay bot lane. There's a Baron on the map. Okay. Get the vision we need. <clears throat> Get more souls, keep scaling. Play it safe. Don't die. They're all top lane. Ulti in two seconds. As in right now. <laughs> yeah, I can see it. And I'm dead. Team should have this, right? There's no way. Yeah. Okay, crucial Lilia ulti. Actually nasty. 
Hmm, is it better to get the wardstone? Might be. Ah, the armor penetration also goes a long way. I'll get wardstone next. It's also 1100. Or it depends. If I can finish Lord Dorms, I'll get this one, but... Uh, don't sleep on this wardstone. It's actually a good item. Especially on Senna, because it increases the AD, bonus AD you got by a percentage, and all your souls are bonus AD. It's safe. I need to avoid Zed. He just insta kills me, as you see. As I've said in the beginning, this build's quite squishy. I mean, it's self evident 1500 health. We can try. But realistically, we shouldn't. Okay, the kittens are down. You get so many Qs with uh, Quick Blades. Cooldown reduction is really good. Don't need to ult that ever. Here though. Never mind. <sighs> Close game. Bro, you can't... Okay, so we lose inhibitor for this. Or do we? No, but we might lose Baron. Which is not much better for us. Not to say it's a complete disaster. Hang on. Okay, I got ulted. Move away from the trap. Is this viable? Alright. As long as I can sit in the back and do my damage. We catch her. Yeah, for sure. You can't run. My flash W fails to connect, but it forced, us her, forced out her flash nonetheless, so it's still worth. And yeah, you deal so much damage. This build. Wild. Also, the fact you get access to your spells so frequently goes a long way when you get spells like Senna Q and Senna W. High impact. Oh, Garen. Alright, now we save for Wardstone. And look at us go. 100% crit. We'll start converting to lifesteal now. Makes us 
pseudo tanky. I mean, we're, we can still get one shot, but if we survive the initial burst, we will heal back up. With the lifesteal from Eclipse and from passive. I'll just control ward. Looks dead. Wait, he killed Kane. Ouch. <laughs> All right, that's a problem. <sighs> Not optimal by any means. Yeah, we need to defend. Okay, almost 400 AD. We just keep scaling. Tons of ability haste too. Oh, I didn't re actually realize he was fighting. <laughs> okay, I should I should watch my mini map more thoroughly. Pretty safe to say. I also shouldn't suicide into Zed <laughs> if I can help it. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, going out that far to ward is uh, quite risky on such a squishy support champion. Man, I mean, we still have pressure, but I need to play safer. I can't run into Zed ever. Well, the others are manageable, but Zed deals too much burst damage. I might be at 2000 HP right now, which is more than I had earlier, thanks to this one, but <laughs> still not much. It's still very much a good value from cutdown. Oh, he dodges my shield again. Zonya's left and right. Absurd damage. Come on, Jarvan, you can do it. Alright. Don't want to take CS anymore, that's for sure. I want to have maximum chance for souls. Oh, bro, just take the tower, man. Z in 20. As long as he's not alive, I'm pretty safe, I'd say. Z in 7. Next objective, Drake and Baron pretty much. Four hundred AD. One hundred percent crit. Bunch of armor penetration. Just stay safe.
crazy damage. Okay, I don't know where Zed is. I'm a little bit afraid. Let's get the shield going. Baron spawning, yep. Let's rush. I'm all for it. Control ward here, control ward here. Dude, so fast. <coughs> now rush towards Drake. Damage. Yeah, please just go dragon. Let's have a control ward left. Ward stone OP. No, 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 Zed. <laughs> I'm not fighting you. Ever. If I can auto him for free, he dies, but if he looks at me, I die, so... <laughs> yeah. Again, as long as I'm not the one getting ultied, um, I can auto him and then... He will be dead. Guess I should upgrade. Or, uh, I mean, buy stuff. <laughs> it's not much to upgrade here. Potentially sell this for Kraken. Even then, I think Eclipse is better. Or for Shield Bow. Doesn't help with Zed, does it? Yeah, I guess this is the best I can get. <laughs> the sniper team. We need a good engage so we can crack open their base. I see this Zed, I press my panic button. You better believe. Alright, never mind. That's a good pick on Ash. All right, it's one inhib down. Go to a different lane now. Yeah, just keep pushing. Super minions will help a lot. I have ulti. Don't have wards. I 
At least I did some damage before I died, but yeah, that was a nasty engage. This should still be good. Yeah, I did enough damage and they committed resources onto me. Yeah, this is still okay, isn't it? Can I sell boots for something better? That's actually a good question. Maybe boots for Phantom Dancer or something? Hmm. Or Ghost Blade for the passive movement speed? Actually, I like Phantom Dancer. Okay, GG. <laughs> Never mind. Getting the S minus on Senna. And as you can see, this champion is a giant threat. The enemy needs to answer. The enemy needs to respect. They need to commit resources to catching you. They can If they ignore you, you just auto them to death. Uh, you're so immensely powerful. Good cooldown reduction too with uh, support item plus. Quick blades and the damage is just absurd. But yeah, let me know what you think about this build and if you want to see me on my main champion Misfortune, then click the link on your screen right there. A big thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. If you want to become a Patreon yourself, just go to patreon.com slash mfdb. But if you rather save your money, you can support me for free by clicking the like and the subscribe button.